Namaste, my beautiful queens, my beautiful kings, beautiful souls, beautiful, powerful beings of light. Will be no cards in this video. I want to call such videos where I will not use no cards. Their evening talks. Why am I doing it? What for? Because I wrote yesterday in one of my posts, and I am sorry if I uh, I am gonna be sounding like I am trying to be uh, uh, to sound too good or too nice or this or this, but lately in past, uh, especially a couple of years, I started to have this one one question which I am asking myself every single night before falling asleep. I ask myself, have I done something today uh, to touch someone's heart, to uh, help someone start thinking about something important, or do at least a little bit step towards better understanding of who they are, what they are, why they are here for, and uh, understanding the uniqueness and uh, brightness and the light of themselves. Uh, bottom line is I'm asking myself, have I uh, done something to touch someone's heart? What I mean touch someone's heart is helping someone to realize and understand how unique, incredible, and wonderful they are and uh, how important they are and how important for them to uh, feel and know that light deep inside and shine that light. And if I, that's why I uh, write my posts, uh, I, I write posts every day sometimes even a couple times a day and I don't think of subjects the subject just come by themselves there is a lot of me my knowledge my soul my passion is in my posts uh, on community so you can go there they are there for you. you you can read them when you feel down when you feel um, not enough belief uh, or hope for the future or, or you need some heat some uh, some hint some answer because I am simply keeping it all there for those of you if you need uh, some extra uh, as if someone was giving you uh, that advice which you need to know or or those words which you need to hear so um i am asking myself this question every night and if i say yes i have at least one heart or two uh, then this day had been lived uh, with a sense and purpose if i say no uh, then I consider this uh, day was wasted because every day I try to read some information, learn something with one purpose. First of all, learn it for, for myself. Second of all, share it with you and someone will hear. It can be one of you, it can be two of you, but it is going to be already a lot. It's going to mean that I have done something which um, I consider gives the meaning of my uh, existence and my living to find out some information and to share it with you. So in this video, what I want to talk about, first of all, um, I don't ever prepare any speeches. Right now, I am speaking whatever comes to my mind. I'm not preparing any speeches. So if I jump from subject to subject, uh, then uh, forgive me. But the thing is that the most fundamental question of all 
the existence of this planet and the people on it and all of the lives is why am i here what am i doing here where am i coming from where i am going after what is the sense of it all because more and more people start understanding especially people who achieve there is so-called american dream they have already in material world everything under the stars uh, you know uh, they already can buy anything money can buy they can have 400 houses or 2000 cars or collection of diamonds and when they possess all of that they understand that still they can't feel the emptiness inside so all the philosophers of all the lands all the poets of all the lands all the thinkers of all the lands all the wise men uh, of all the lands were writing and singing and talking about the meaning and the sense of us living and when you understand the answer to this question or at least coming closer to the answer to this question then things start to fall in places the knowledge is power and i don't even mean power over the world yes when you are knowledgeable you are ruling your own life when you don't have knowledge someone else does but you knowledge is power for you because um in um in a story i told you before a story of uh, the uh, egg uh, a man walking through the fields that man finds an egg and brings it to his barn and put it under the chicken that was the egg of an eagle and that eagle is being hatched together with the chicks and he is sure that he is a chick that he is a, a, a one of them and he looks at the eagles flying up there in the sky and he thinks how would be wonderful to be one of them he doesn't know he's one of them many of you so many of you living lives thinking that i i wish i was an eagle when you are an eagle i wish i could fly when you do have the wings it's just no no one told you you have them or someone told you you have them but you didn't believe in it many of you somehow think that oh if i just get this guy in my life to marry me or to be with me in committed relationship that's gonna be everything i'm gonna be happy no you're not gonna be happy because you're trying to feel this question who am i why am i here for with something from outside and if like they say if life came with a manual there is a manual there are three books which i have told you so many times about if this world if 50 percent of people in this world living now on this planet read these three books we would be living in a different completely different place because all and every of your question is written here answered here and i have already showed you so many times michael newton phd journey of souls his second book destiny of souls and the third book wisdom of souls this three books i am uh, very known in my family and everyone who knows me there is expression book warm uh, if you leave me in the library you can come back 
and pick me up 35 years later or 40 years later because everything is written in books. But literally, if we would take 25,000 books and get the main, the most important piece of knowledge from each one of them, they could be written here in these three books. There is no price, it's priceless. My book, which I have written, I just want you to remember that's the name of it. Uh, hopefully, I will publish it in this coming March. I put there pretty much the knowledge of everything I've accumulated in my lifetime in such a way that it would be um, easy to see and understand through this story of, of my lifetime and my path. But uh, if I was capable of buying these three books for everyone living on this planet, I swear I would buy these three books for every being living on this planet. And for those who can't read, I would pay to people who would read it to them. Of course, you must be willing to accept the truth and uh, you have to be willing to uh, to admit that you many of you were told the lies and those lies were told for hundreds of years to people because truth is here so First of all, these three books. And second, I am going to simply, for those of you who don't have these books or somehow they have them on Kindle, you can read them. You can have them. I always have in my house, uh, it's a habit of mine, I always have in my house two, three of each of them because when someone comes to see me, to visit me, I simply, last person who I gave these three books was a man who, who came to, uh, to fix my uh, electric stove, literally. And I started to talk to him and I said, here, take this. This is my gift. And I know it's going to change his life. So uh, for those of you who don't have it or um, somehow can't read it on Kindle, I will open it up and I will read you just several pages of this book of uh, exactly destiny of souls their meaning of life uh, in several words which you can understand how and what it is and also if i can mention it in this video i will where the evil people come from if the soul is pure uh, how it happens, this disconnection with the soul. He also describes it right here. But if I don't have the time, I will do it in another video. Or better, simply get yourself this book and read it. So I am going to tell you just several things uh, from this book. This chapter calls Soul Division and Unification. So please uh, listen attentively. I uh, will just read what I have underlined here. This is my way to reading books. I always underline everything what's most important here. The capacity for souls to divide their energy essence influences many aspects of soul life. As I reported in the section under ghosts, all souls who come to earth leave a part of their energy behind in the spirit world. Even those living parallel lives in more than one body, which is extremely rare. The percentage of energy souls leave behind may vary, but each particle of light is an exact duplicate of every other self and replicates the whole identity. This phenomenon is 
analogous to the way light emerges in the uh, um, light images are split and duplicated in hologram yes there are differences in hologram if only a small percentage of a soul's energy is left behind in the spirit world that particle of self is more uh, dormant because it is less concentrated however because this energy remain in a pure uncontaminated state it is still potent when i made the discovery of our energy reserve in the spirit world so much fell into places for me the grandeur of the system of soul duality impacts many spiritual aspects of our life now listen to this if someone you loved died 30 years ahead of you and has since reincarnated you can still see them again upon your own return to spirit world so to say it in simple world when when you the soul the soul essence your very core and i will just uh, go a little bit uh, from the subject it's going to be further in this book and i said it in my uh, post yesterday not two souls are identical and we are talking not just souls living on this planet girls and boys we are already smart enough to understand that beside our milky way galaxies there are quadrillion of other galaxies which are much grander than ours and solar systems like ours are ions they are uncounted impossible to count Plus, this universe is not a single one and only one. So, we are not even talking about the souls which are now living on this planet and in the level of the spirits. We are talking about all the beings of all level. None two of them are the same. So, you, you are, whoever is listening right now, there is no body like you not like two snowflakes cannot be identical just souls each soul is extremely unique and unrepeatable cases of one soul divided in two physical bodies sometimes more than two are extremely rare also written here why why soul can take such experience extremely rare so the chance you are one of them is uh is really uh very very small because even guides and keepers who are guides and keepers you can read also in these books they don't advise for one soul to be divided in two bodies if such thing is allowed and done then though that one soul wants to accomplish uh, something very serious usually it comes with their goals they are they are taking the risk to make that goal achieved and for that they need to, to have this parallel lives one soul lives in, in incarnates into sometimes three bodies extremely rare that's not what i'm talking about here but a soul is absolutely unique so you have to understand that how grandiose is this idea that there is only one of you only one of you so when you incarnate in physical your part of your energy it's going to be here further here i'm going to read it stays in the spiritual realm so if you loved somebody even if you already live in a physical body here again on this planet or other those who you knew those who loved you or you loved when they come back to the reality of the spirits you meet them there they meet you there because part of you stays there part of you lives here why what for it's brilliantly it's all, all described here 
The ability of a soul to unite with itself is a natural process of energy or regeneration after physical death. A client uh, emphat okay, um, can't read it this word. Uh, one client told me, if we were, listen to this, why we can't come 100% in physical body? Such crucial moments here. If we were to bring 100% of our energy into one body during an incarnation, we would blow the circuits of the brain a full charge of all a soul energy into one human body would totally sabotage the brain to the soul power. Apparently, this could happen with even the less potent, undeveloped souls. I suppose this factor of soul occupation in a host body was evaluated in the early stages of human evolution by those spiritual grandmasters who chose Earth as a planetary school. Moreover, having all the soul energy capacity in one body would negate the whole process of growth for the soul on Earth because it would have no challenge coping with the brain. Here it is written, I will read you this again. So why we can't be 100% in our physical, why we have to divide it. If we were to bring 100% of our energy into one body during an incarnation, we would blow the circuits of the brain, a full charge of all of the soul's energy into one human body would totally sabotage the brain to the soul's power. Having all the soul's energy capacity in one body would negate the whole process of growth for the soul on earth because it would have no challenge coping with the brain. This is why we are here. We are challenging and we are growing. By strengthening a variety of parts of soul's total energy in different incarnations, the whole is made stronger. Full awareness at 100% would have another adverse effect. If we did not divide our energy, we would experience a higher level of spiritual memory retention in each human body. Amnesia forces us to go into the testing area of the laboratory of Earth without the answers for the tasks we were sent here to accomplish. Amnesia also relieves us of the baggage of past failures, so we may use new approaches with more confidence. This is why we are here. This is why we are here for now. How much each of us takes of our true essence. Um, where is it? He explains different levels of soul development. No soul is uh, stronger or less valuable. Young souls are not less valuable than ancient souls. But here he describes four or five levels of the souls. And here he explains why the more advanced souls take a less percentage of their own essence coming into physical life. Here it is. I don't know if you see it. Uh, the warrior soul in, ca in case 22. Typically, a highly advanced soul will bring no more than 25% 
to its of its total capacity to earth where the average less confident soul has 50 70 percent the energy of a more evolved souls is refined and elastic and uh, vigorous in smaller quantities. This is why the younger soul must bring more energy into their early incarnations. Thus, it is not the volume of energy which gives potency to the soul, but the quality of vibrational power representing a soul's experience and wisdom. How does this information help us understand the combined force of soul and human energy? Every soul has very specific energy field pattern, which reflects an immortal blueprint of its character, regardless of the number of divided parts. When the spiritual ego is combined with a more structured personality of a physical brain, a higher density field is produced. Uh, so, um, you know, I try to avoid talking about them, but I constantly go, uh, go <laughs> back to them. But uh, he also explains... Uh, they are uh, twin flames because he didn't call them twin flames. He called them souls divided into physical body or more. Uh, in his entire 30-year uh, experience uh, and research, he um, mentions only two cases like this. But another reason why um, one soul divides, not just for the goals they are having, but also because um, there is, uh, this soul is very, very ancient and simply uh, no matter how um, much of the soul essence the soul leaves out there in a spiritual world, still it's too much for one physical body. So in order to incarnate on earth and do on earth the goals the soul has it has to be divided into sometimes very very rarely sometimes more than two bodies you can watch a beautiful movie um, a little buddha with keanu reeves and um, you can see the uh, example of the soul coming as a three different uh, the three children because uh, they simply that soul is too uh, i don't know how to say concentrated it cannot simply uh, come in one it has to be divided because one physical can't handle um, the charge of, of the energy just too much for one physical body in our 3d dimension so uh, that's one of the reasons also uh, of um, coming and then incarnating twin flames because uh, they are pretty much workers, uh, as, as I said, employees of this planet, employees of humanity. So uh, a lot of them uh, came divided in two because of the goals they have and because, because also as one it couldn't be possible to, uh, to be. Uh, the physical body can handle that charge. So um, these are the main... Um, reasons and me explain you why uh, we are here um, we are here for what we are here for this is the challenge for our soul it's a growth of a soul again I want to read you this sentence one more time growth for the soul on earth because it would have no challenge coping with the brain by strengthening a variety of parts of a soul's total energy in different incarnations the whole is made stronger so we are here to grow we are here to learn we are here to experience new things, to learn again, to learn again, to learn again. It's the 
you can take it as a school or next grade in a school and each soul which incarnated especially now what you need to understand it's an end of kali yuga i will explain um, these things in my book as well but my, much less of course because my, mine is intertwined with a with a love story uh, but um we incarnated everyone who lives now everyone who lives now i see uh, the children born after 212 those are new generation the kids which bring the experiences they are allowed to remember more of past life's experience many speak uh, multiple languages uh, age two three five many play musical instrument they are allowed to keep uh, the talents from the past incarnations uh, geniuses kids mathematicians uh, scientists uh, musicians uh, poets they are already uh, under age 10 and they already are so much more advanced that we could ever even could imagine because this is new generation next generation of kids who um, are going to be living by different completely uh, rules because the rules of the new earth are are following the inner core inner calling inner joy love and uh, I will be I could be talking about this for <laughs> 10 uh, hours to come but if you want to know more who you are where you coming from why you are here why you feel joy why you feel sadness why you fall and rise what is happening what for who is there with you always who are your guides who are your keepers how it is all happening then of course please get yourself those and this one too and i will try uh, to make the videos for those of you who want to know because every one of you will want to know sooner or later every one of you will come to the point when you will want to know and even some of you are gonna brush this video off like oh she's not putting down the cards and tell me uh, that he thinks of me and he is changing and he is coming on a white horse next week uh those of you who uh, the guides of those of you who are ready to hear it you will hear me i hope it was helpful namaste